quick midweek video just to introduce you to the 60 second sessions and what these are going to be is an ongoing series of 60 second tutorials as near to 60 seconds as I possibly can uh, and it's basically because I, I enjoy watching the long edits and if you watch that edit on Sunday there you saw that, that was 30 minutes long so that was including the actual shoot of the image and then the entire editing process not everyone has the time to watch these though and I'm really grateful if you did take the time to sit and watch it but not everybody has the time to sit and watch these so what I thought I would do is a series of 60 second sessions showing you for example I'll run one after this so that you get an idea of how these are going to be but it's for example if you're new to Photoshop and you want to learn how to mask I hopefully will explain within 60 seconds with an on-screen uh, demonstration how to create a mask now for this it is going to be quick and what I've done is I've recorded the next three weeks already so I'm going to put out two a week and these will come out on say like a Tuesday and a Thursday the reason for these is so that you can pinpoint exactly what it is you need to know within 60 seconds and then that's you and if you don't understand it you're not sitting through an entire video or pausing and going back it's just this is a mask this is how you create it from there everything else is for you to learn what the mask does for example now there is going to be no semblance of order to these and that's quite a bold statement but it's, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you things that pop into my head basically when I first started in Photoshop and Lightroom there was the odd thing that I wanted to know and I'd go and research it and find out how to do it and watch the videos and how to do it as well but every now and again you were sitting through <laughs> in my case there a 30 minute video to learn how to do one small part so these are going to be titled what they do here they are in 60 seconds if you need to watch it again you could just watch in 60 seconds I will still continue to do the longer edits and the longer process edits but I thought these would be really handy as well I'm trying to create a library uh, of different edits and different things and the software that I'm using will be Photoshop Lightroom and Luminar and it's just going to be this tool does this that's it I'm not going to take it on to an edit but it's just basically to explain and hopefully within 60 seconds expand what the tool can do I will do it via examples though so hopefully you'll find these useful uh, if you don't you know not to watch them they are not as far as I'm aware because they're under a minute they're not going to be monetized anyway so I'm just basically creating a library of editing processes within different software of stuff that I wish I knew when I started so that's it now and again I'll drop in a Premiere Pro one as well uh, but that will be just the odd thing that I wish I knew when I started in Premiere Pro as well the rest of them I'm quite comfortable with I've still watch to learn like everybody else I've still watch to learn but I'll show you what they do and perhaps explain why I use it as well if that's of any help to you so I hope you enjoy this series again it's going to be a library two a week is my plan because they don't actually take that long to record as you can guess so two a week is my plan so hopefully you'll find them useful if there's anything at all though that you think I would like to know this in 60 seconds without watching a 10-15 minute video please put it down in the comments I'm always willing to look and see if I can get what the tool does or how a process works over in 60 seconds and remember there's not any order to these whatsoever it could be Photoshop one night, Luminar the next, Lightroom the next it's just what I think would be handy for people to know here's the first one thanks for watching and I'll see you in Cindy's video which is flat light. Creating masks in Photoshop is a relatively simple process. It's mastering them and what you can do with them that takes the time. But I'm going to show you very simply how to create a mask in Photoshop. 
To highlight this, I'm going to change the layer below, which is the exact same image, to black and white. Shift, Control, and U, and that layer has now gone black and white. Back up to the top layer, and I'm going to create a Reveal All Mask by choosing Add Layer Mask. So that means we can still see the image, and because it's a Reveal All Mask, I have to paint in black with a brush, To reveal the layer below, which is the black and white layer. 